Hello, everybody, and thank you for listening to the Silly Goose Sports Talk. I am Big T. And I'm Skippy. And before we get into this episode, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification box. That's us being utilized sports news. Now, yes, sir, a lot does. to do this week. So let's get it rolling and hop right in. <coughs> now, um, we have a few big things going on this week. First of all, Big T is getting cut open. Yeah. Yay. ACL clap, clap surgery. By if, the time um, this comes out, he'll already be in surgery. So yeah, because the procedure starts at eleven. Episodes coming out at twelve. So you guys listen live. It, I humbly ask you guys pray for me. Thank you. So it, oh, what was, what's going to happen is they're going to chop my knee open, and then uh, I think they're going to like they're doing like a little ceramic rod thing. It's not going to be a metal rod, so my knee's not going to be magnetic, unfortunately. But that's very unfortunate. Yeah, but then they're they're gonna get. What did you? Hand. What did you want to put medic, um, uh, metal things on your leg? Just to oh, stay we were there. just gonna do. We, we, you, 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 like the church bus. All we have to do is like we just get like little uh alphabet magnets and stick them on my knee. And they, look, they, that'd be that's something that would be fun on a, on a Okay, that would, like that. that would be funny. That would be funny. Yeah, like, like, yeah, it'd be hysterical. Oh so, yeah, we'll do that, and then um, I'll be back next week. <laughs> I'll be back in action, but uh, yeah. 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 Also, a little story I want to tell. So, my, my dog's been acting up lately. So, Uh-oh. we got, if you didn't know, we have a beagle, 13 years old, very, the sweetest dog you ever meet. Old man. Like, he's, he, he, he's friendly with everybody. And then you have Zelly. Like, Uh-oh. like, Paul is the A plus student. Zelly is the class clown of the place. <laughs> because so the dog every single morning you're he's, talking about. I'm talking about the dog here. The dog so version it, of me? <laughs> except a little a little dumber, honestly. She isn't okay, the brightest bull. So, so I'll take she's a home. so she's a Jibane Shepsky named Zelly. Pretty unique name. Originally her name was Scar. Just thought I'd throw that fun fact out there. Nice. It's a little weird name for a girl, but we don't question it. <laughs> Anyways. So at like six am recently for like the past four days without fail she's busted down my door <laughs> and then repeatedly stood there and started going <laughs> until i decided to actually get up and take her out it Oof. she's my own personal alarm clock at this point nice yeah anyways we have a few NFL announcements. Like, not a few, we have a lot. Yes, we do. First of we all, watch the football team. New name coming tomorrow. Yeah, I'm probably. Gonna... I don't know about the stream because Timmy's going to be half yeah, dead. Yeah, but... we're not going to be able to do that. I do not think, and I and I don't think if like if I say something wacky. I mean, yeah, I always say wacky stuff, but like if the thing I'm... is, you're not going to be loopy. You're going to be. I'm just going to be miserable. <laughs> that yeah. <laughs> We if it was if you were loopy we totally would have done it but oh, yeah, uh, that miserable would, that would different be fun thing. that would be really because if because if it's a bad name you're just your reaction's gonna be worse oh my gosh or like, the thing is maybe I would have been loopy enough that no matter what it is I'd love it exactly so we 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 ain't doing that boys but yeah, so. okay what are you placing your bets on will it actually be a decent name or just another bad one. I'm you can't get worse than wizards, so it's gonna be something with the red in it. It's gonna be like the red wolves. I or think as much as I want to say it was it's gonna be commanders because there's there's all all this commanders buzz going around. You had Joe Theisman going on national radio and saying, Oh, he likes commanders. But Jason Wright said a couple months ago that there will be a lot of misdirection. So I think it's not going to be Commanders, but um, you know what? We'll just wait and see. I'll be laid up on the couch, and when I find out the name, I'll be like, hey. So, yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we'll see. It's um, Anything will be better than the Washington football team. Yeah. But we all, we but one, one thing that I'm sad about the Washington football team losing its no-name stick is that the Tom Grossi wildflower stick? It will also be gone, I think. Have you seen like the hippie Redskins guy? You've seen that? Yeah, you showed me. Yeah, that, that guy's gonna be gone, unfortunately. 
Why? Why? Uh, because when they rename, he's probably gonna find a new persona for that guy for the character. Oh. So yeah, unfortunately, Wildflower will be no more. I, don't, I believe so. Well, uh, just anything will be better than the Washington football team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so on the field, so holy moly. Bengals, oh, Chiefs, 49ers, no. Rams, and let's run through the Bengals and Chiefs, which is probably the main game everyone was paying attention to because yeah. who cares about the Rams? <laughs> who who even yeah, cares, man? All right, so, yeah, the Bengals have a glorious comeback in the AFC Championship. They were trailing 21-3 to late in the second quarter. Former Washington footballer, Samaj P. Ryan, blasts a 41-yard run to make the game 21-10. to a goal line stand by Cincinnati combined with a goofy play call by KC ended the half with KC on the one yard line. Halftime score was 21 to 10. A trio of punts coming out of the half was a precursor to another Evan McPherson field goal, making the game 21 13. Just two plays later, Pat Mahomes threw a pick to BJ Hill. Shortly thereafter, Jamar Chase was in the end zone after a two yard dart from Burrow. Cincy converted on the two pointer and tied the game after a few punts and a Burrow pick and another punt. Evan McPherson nailed another field goal to take the lead. Kansas City on the ensuing drive drove down the field to tie it with all zeros on the clock, sending it to the inevitable overtime. The Bengals felt shades of last week as the Chiefs won the toss. It was feeling a lot like last week at that point. Unlike last week, however, Mahomes was picked off by Von Bell on third down, and the Bengals drove down the field as Money McPherson nails the game-winning field goal, sending Joe Burrow and the Bengals to the Super Bowl. So, yeah, everybody, I'm rooting for Joe. I'm rooting for the Bengals. Yeah. I have been all my life, clearly, from the start of the playoffs. <laughs> I did not have um, anyone else but the Bengals, clearly. Well, for everyone me, I'm not, I'm not a Bengals fan. I'm a Burrow fan. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not a Bengals fan. I'm, I'm just a Washington a, guy. But um, whenever it's the playoffs, I just hop on whatever train looks the best. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, like, I like rooting for the small teams, like even the Buccaneers. I rooted for because yeah, that's what, well, they were crappy for years. Brady well, came I, along. The fans I, got I'm their still Super kind Bowl. Of now he's bitter even. about the Bucks because they beat Shut us. Up. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, we no. We, At least we I, lost to the ones who actually won it all. So, <laughs> we put up a fight against them. So. Yeah, but hopefully Bengals win this year. I just like rooting for the teams that they don't they don't win yeah. often. See the yeah, same team win all over again, like like Alabama. It's it's not fun. It's no yeah, fun it's after like, a while. Yeah, so even like seeing having, the Patriots keep winning, not fun. New but seeing the top. Buccaneers with the same face was cool because yeah. uh, like, no one like, believed him nice anymore. Seeing new names at the top. New names at the top is bad. exactly. So hopefully Drew Burrow and the Bengals win this. And then the game that no one cared about, 49ers versus Rams, Niners blow the lead. So well, that uh, game was actually pretty competitive. It's that Matt Stafford, uh, who uh, I, I, can't, I forgot the guy's name. There's another guy. You, you wouldn't be able to pronounce the name. I wouldn't either. But the guy had, he was wide open for a pick, but he dropped it. A, a 49ers guy dropped an interception. And uh, yeah, that's, they were going to win the game. They, we're gonna have a legitimate shot to win the game, but he dropped the pick, and then um, that's pathetic. Rams drove down, won the game, and then uh, yeah, then Jimmy G was picked off next drive. Well, so yeah, so we're gonna have the Bengals and the Rams in Super Bowl Fifty Six. It's gonna be on February Thirteenth. Yeah, so we have a little bit without football here. Yeah, but uh, halftime, it's going to be swag oh. this year. Oh, gosh. Who's doing we the halftime show? We got Snoop. We got Dre. We got Eminem. This is going to be oh, good absolutely Lord. awesome. Oh, gosh. So, uh, yeah, let's go. I, I, I never watched the halftime show. This is one I will not watch either. <laughs> no offense. Oh, yeah. So that's all we got for football. But on the soccer train, USA beats El Salvador one to nothing. And then loses to Canada to nothing. This um this makes me sad because America's for winners. <laughs> Do you know that Canada's never won um a hockey in, in, the, in the NHL? Winter Olympics? No, they've never won the Stanley Cup. Championship? Yeah. Oh yeah, the um Canadians have won it before. The Toronto <laughs> Maple Leafs have won it. 
Hold on. I, mean, they I haven't heard. Won in a, I may been, have they haven't won it in a long. It's been a long time, but the Leafs Hold have on. a bunch of cups. The Hold the on. Canadians have the most cups, I think. In Stanley. Yeah. Uh, most Stanley Cups. Like no. Uh, Mount- well, actually, in some time, it's been nineteen since nineteen ninety three. So it's been some years. Well. I was I was incorrect about that fact. Hey, that was the same year the Deadskins won. Yo, last time those teams were good. Anyways, um, MLB lockout continues. So yip yippity doo da, sippity doo da, yeah, whatever. They need to hurry. Yeah, <laughs> it's getting close and close. It's getting scary and scary here. Anywho, NHL wise, Penguins on Thursday the Penguins defeat the lowly Senators six to four. They followed up that up by going to Columbus and being the Blue Jackets with a Sidney Crosby hat trick. They got off the week of a few to two. Is this the same games from last week? Did we update Is this? It? I updated the caps. Did you guys not update Penguins? Oh, hold on. Continue Uh-oh. with the Capitals. Let me figure this. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll take the caps. So, yeah, the caps misery from last week extended into the 4-1 to loss to the Sharks. But something happened on the plane in Dallas, and then the Cavs were suddenly good. A 5 nothing win versus the Stars and Brayden Hoping. And then the power play was two for two. Oh, another thing that was wacky that um in the Sharks game, it was even it was like after the game ended, after the final horn, uh, Garnet Hathaway and then another dude, some Sharks dude, I don't know what I wouldn't maybe be able to pronounce it, but uh, they um they started fighting and then they the refs just wouldn't stop them from fighting. They they're just the refs were just sitting there watching it. But then Garnet Hathaway, I mean, I love Garnet Hathaway. He's one, probably one of my favorite fighters in the Caps. But if you're gonna start punching a guy, you gotta knock his helmet off first. You can't just keep banging him in the helmet. You're gonna bust up your knuckles and stuff like that. It's it's like yeah. Yeah, so I was actually, uh, we never updated it, so that's my bad. Oopsie. Yeah, anyways, we have Pittsburgh, Arizona, 6-3. to three. Um, uh, Pittsburgh actually loses to the Seattle, I believe, um, at 2-1. to one. Yeah, the Kraken was, it's a cool logo. Um, yeah. Detroit um, got three points against Pittsburgh, too, so ouch. And then to round off the week with another loss, man. Pittsburgh free, Lakers four. So, hottest team in the league. What happened to that? Well, yeah, it's I don't know, man. There was yeah, some yeah, rough. It's it's an up and down league. The, the teams go on streaks. They go on ups and downs. That's that's what well, the Caps. The Caps started off really good, and they're recently not really good. Capitals are not great for the last two years, man. Oof. You guys had your year, and then you the new white. I mean, losing the first round, yeah. So, yeah, that's all we got for hockey right here. In NBA, we have uh, the Wizards. They blow a 35-point lead to the Clippers and fall 160. Oh, yeah, I forgot, about, I forgot that happens. Wait, that was that sad. one hurt. Like, they were leading by 35. I was like, let's go. Because, like, they were leading by, like, 30 when I turned on the radio. And I'm like, he, he's, he's fooling. He's fooling the radio guy. And he's like, he's like, you heard me correctly. Wizards, 70-something, them 40-something. And I'm like, bruh. And I was, like, pleasantly surprised. I'm like, let's go. And then uh, they chip away the lead until it's nothing. And then they lose at the last second. And I'm like, well, crap. So, uh, yeah, they, um, they blew it. And, uh, yeah, then they ended up – they followed up that loss by getting – Pooped on by Memphis. So, uh, yeah, that one stunk. Yeah. Anyways, oh, now yeah. time to uh, for a dad joke because yes, that sir. was to lighten the mood a little bit. Yes, sir. All right. So now we have this. It really takes guts to be an organ donor. Take you a second to get on it. Yeah. All right, we're going to say classic real quick. Everyone, everyone should know this one. Why was six afraid of seven, Timmy? Seven, eight, nine? Yeah. yeah well, everyone knows that one. <laughs> exactly. It got to do the common ones occasionally, occasionally. Yeah. Anyways, why do peppers make such good archers? Why? Because they have an arrow. Ha, ha, ha. That's actually really good. 
That's funny. I like that one. Ugh, I told my wife what a husband that hus that a husband is like fine wine. He just gets he just gets better with age. The next day she locked me in the cellar. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, -oh. uh I tried to get a smart car the other day, but they sold out too fast. Why? I guess I'm a bit slow. Huh? It's not too fast. Why? It's a bit. I don't get that one. Slow as in not smart. Smart car. Uh, there we go. All right, so that's all we have for the dad jokes this week. <laughs> and now, time for the big ETs NASCAR racing, whatever the heck it is, minute. All right, so we have. For NASCAR, we have NY Racing has come out of the dumpster, and Greg Biffle can make his Cup Series return in the number 44 Chevy at the Daytona 500. He needs to get through the duels because, as New York Racing definitely does not have a charter, but this is awesome. You can see old star Greg Biffle come back to the sport. Now all you need is... um. Complexer ride from Matt Kenseth, Carl Edwards, and you'll be back at the old mid 2000s Roush days. Heck, bring Jamie McMurray back. We need all those old Roush guys. So, yeah, um, Formula One season starts on um, March 20th. IndyCar was nice. And the Rolex 24, Jimbo did not win it. So, uh, yeah, that stunk. And then SRX released their schedule. They will be coming to South Boston Speedway, which is in Virginia, in uh, late June. I hope to hopefully make it to that race. But, um, yeah, that was – um, they got some dirt tracks at SRX. It's uh, four um, pavement tracks, two dirt tracks to round up the season. And uh, we'll see if SRX can build off the success that they had last year. Oh, yeah. Mm, okay. That's what, yeah, that's what we got for racing this week. All right. So now time to round us off here with the potato of the week. Now, we'll play potato of the week the 49ers, the guy who dropped the stupid interception. What are you doing, man? Yeah. You, you're about to go to the Super Bowl. You messed it up. Sh shame. Yes, shame on you. Not getting paid millions for nothing. Anyways, round two of the week. We have Wizards for also blowing a huge lead because that. <laughs> That was so stupid. Okay. My gosh. Today of the week, whoever thought it was a good idea to, to put chippy pop songs on the country charts. Yeah. What you doing, man? Sweep today of the week. Um, I'm going to run through a few of his stats. Ben Roethlisberger has retired after 249 games, 18 seasons, and two Super Bowl wins. Now, 5,440 pass completions, 64,188 passing yards, in four and four hundred and eighteen passing touchdowns. Overall, 165, 81, and one. From a rookie to a legend. Thank you, Big Ben. Now, Big Ben may be a legend, but another legend is also retiring. Tom Brady. Listen, I don't whoa, care whoa, if you whoa, love whoa, him. Whoa, whoa. We don't know if that's official yet because there was all that wackadoo stuff there, going on on there Instagram was... and Twitter. There, it's all it's all wacky, but it's a develop. He... It's a developing situation. We don't yeah. know. He, he he himself has not made a statement, but uh, yeah, we don't know. Who who knows? Who, no one knows right now. But Heck, you know what? What if, what I, if my show? I can some, do whatever. What if something bizarre and out of nowhere happens where when Washington comes out with a new name, somehow Tom Brady's on the jersey and he's in Washington? And then you would be a Tom Brady fan. No, no, no. I still, I, I still absolutely despise him, but he has an arm. Same with just, but, same with Deshaun Watson. I yeah, but him, but you, 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 you're gonna despise him until he's on your team, man. Look, it's it's different situations with different players. Anyways, if he is retiring, then uh, it's a good send off. Actually, it's not because he <laughs> lost this year. Anyways, well, he did have a huge comeback. Listen, guys, if you love him or you, if you hate him, I don't even care. But you can't. You, he's the goat. Okay. Yeah, you know who's you, the real goat? Joe Montana. <laughs> Joe Montana won a bunch of Super Bowls without cheating. Well, it's I, I don't think it's somebody's fault directly, but the Patriots were a crappy team. The Patriots were crappy people. 
Still hate the Patriots, always will. But when he came to the Buccaneers, I think there was something inside me went, yes. Hey, so as soon as um, he got to the Buccaneers, I, I was I became a Tom Brady fan. I will admit. You know, so. Phil Rivers has nine kids. Tom Brady had seven rings, and um, Tom Brady cheated to get some of those rings. Phil Rivers did not cheat to get any of those kids. So uh, Phil Rivers did he cheat? Was it the Patriots? Who knows, Timmy? Who knows? Who knows? I hate the Pats. So uh, yeah, I, they I, 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 who doesn't hate the Pats? Everyone hates them. The Pats, but listen. Now that Tom Brady's on the Buccaneers, I, I, I like, I like him now. Okay, that yeah, well fair. was on the Buccaneers technically. Who knows? We'll hey, see. look, we 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 beat them this year, so that's all that matters. So I'm happy. Eight, three, yeah, two, two picks. Two that's four. a weird year. Anyway, it's time for Up and down. whatever you're music. Sick. Yep, time to yep. finish so, off this podcast with the music notes. All right, number five on the country charts, we got Freedom is Highway by Brad Paisley and Jimmy Allen. That's I like that song. Make, it's actually good. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to see that song in the top five. Number four, we got Sand in My Boots. That song's been around for a while, and now it's finally in the top five. Why did the number top five th- never change, dude? Oh, they they, they are changing. Like it's Last week's number one is nowhere on this list it, they, because they pulled support something like that. Number three is Thinking About You by Dustin Lynch McKenzie Porter, the song that was number one for like two months. Number two, You Should Probably Leave by Chris Stapleton. And number one, we got By Dirt by Luke Bryan and Jordan Davis. That song is at the top now. I knew it was going to get there because any country collaboration is it's, going to hit I'm the top. I'm hearing it everywhere. Huh? Like you hear yeah, it it's everywhere. All, even on mainstream on radio. radio, I'm hearing it all the time. So, yeah, also on the charts, we have Thomas Rhett and Luke Combs, both with singles charging up the tops. They look to crack the top 20 next week. So, on mainstream radio charts, number five, we got Need to Know by Doja Cat. Number four is Shivers by Ed Sheeran. Number three is Heat Waves by Glass Animals. That song's actually pretty cool. Number <laughs> two is animals. Stay by Justin Bieber. And number one is Easy on Me by Adele. Gosh, I don't oh. know. Three of those people in the top 10. Who the heck is Doja Cat? Who the heck is the Glass uh, Animals? She's a rapper. Oh, Glass Animals is like some super, like, they're like a super small band or something. They Justin Bieber is still around? Yes, unfortunately. Oh, shit, Mark. He's way too 2010. All right. Country duo Maddie and Tay released an album, Through the Madness, Volume 1. And then um, Raleigh Keegan, what, he's a guy one of my buddies on here he's a country guy he releases a new single new to nashville and that's that was that's cool aaron lewis releases a new album frayed at both ends i have not listened to that yet but i look forward to it so yeah that's all we got for the music this week so um yeah that's all we got for this week so um yeah make sure that you uh wish timmy good luck in the surgery, you. wish you, the sir. watch football team good luck so that we we actually that's so that they actually get a good name. I almost said we. I'm not even a fan of them. I only have to. I only follow them because of this podcast. Anywho, yeah. thank you everyone hey, for watching. No, hey, NASCAR's right around the corner too, so that's it'll be all good. So I might become a NASCAR fan. Actually, not not a super fan like this kid is, but. Hey, you, 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 watch you, 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 look, I'll, I'll just, uh, it's, it's on Fox on I, Sunday. Listen, I can watch a game. I'm not going to be a super fan going, race cars, race cars. Yeah, I like race cars. Uh, that, hey, you no, you got to pick a driver fun. to root for, at least. Is there a Lego car? Uh, there was in the mid-2000s. Uh, McDonald's car. Uh, no, we don't like him. What? Who is he? Uh, I'll tell you later. I'll t- I'll take Brad. Okay, Brad. Brad's number Brad. Six. But unfortunately, <laughs> Brad's not going to be winning for the next few years because that team's going to rebuild. Maybe I'll go with Chase Elliott. Who knows? I'll, uh, I'll decide if later. You wanna, whichever... if, you want a, if you want a guy that's going to win a lot, then I, if I were you, I'd hop on number five of Kyle Larson. He's Chase's teammate, and he won the championship last year with 10 wins, so that's a lot of wins. I'll, I'll think about it. Anyway, uh, everybody, yeah. thank you so much for watching this week. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we will see you all Tuesday. Keep on honking. Uh-